Flow cytometers are laboratory instruments that are used to analyze the physical and chemical characteristics of particles in a fluid as they pass through at least one laser. Flow is the motion characteristics of fluids. Cytometry is a general name for a group of biological methods used to measure various parameters of cells. In 1930s, Moldavan in science described the counting of blood cells filing through a capillary tube using a photoelectric sensor. Kasperson measured nucleic acid and protein metabolism for normal and abnormal cell growth using a cadmium spark as a UV light source. Culture constructed a cell counter based on the fact that the electrical conductivity of cells is lower than that of saline. Industry takes over technical development in 1970s. How Flow Cytometry Work Three main systems make up the flow cytometer instrument and these are the fluidics, the optics, and the electronics. The fluidics system transports particles in a stream to the laser beam for interrogation. The arrangement processes are important so that the liquid stream can pass as a single file through the light for a purpose of sensing. The optics system consists of lasers to illuminate the particles in the sample stream and optical filters to direct the resulting light signals to the appropriate detectors. Fluorescent and SSC signals are collected at right angles to the excitation laser are progressively picked off to facilitate multiple fluorochrome use. The electronic system converts the detected light signals into electronic signals that can be processed by the computer. For some instruments equipped with a sorting feature, the electronic system is also capable of initiating sorting decisions to charge and deflect particles. Light scattered from the cells or particles is detected as they go through the laser beam. A detector in front of the light beam measures forward scatter and several detectors to the side measure side scatter. Fluorescence detectors measure the fluorescence emitted from positively stained cells or particles. The FSC is a rough measure of size, influenced by the wavelength of light, and the angle, lenses and apertures that light is collected at and with. Different flow cytometers will give slightly different FSC measurements. Most flow cytometers measure FSC with a photodiode. Dead cells may have lower FSC measurements than live cells. Osmotic swelling can increase cell volume, and decrease light scatter. SSC is the measure of light scattered at an angle of 90 degrees orthogonal. SSC is a measure of the complexity of the cell's internal structures. The more granular a cell is the higher its SSC will be. A neutrophil is much more granular than a lymphocyte. A useful example of this is when running blood samples on the flow cytometer. Larger and more granular granulocyte cells produce a large population with high SS and FS. Monocytes are large cells, but not so granular, so these produce a separate population with high FS but lower SS. Smaller lymphocytes and lymphoblasts produce a separate population with less FS. They are not granular cells, so also have low SS. Therefore, these cells can be separated into different populations based on their FS and SS alone. Fluorochromes are substances that can be excited by certain light source and emit a fluorescent signal at a single wavelength. Fluorescent dyes can directly bind to certain cellular content, such as DNA and RNA, and allow us to perform quantitative analysis on individual cells. However, in most cases fluorochromes are conjugated with monoclonal antibodies, which specifically target cellular antigen slash markers. The following table is a list of commonly used fluorescent dyes. Fluorophores enable researchers to create their own labeled biomolecule for use in immunochemistry, fluorescence in situ hybridization, cell tracing, receptor labeling, and cytochemistry applications as well as for probing biological structure, function, and interactions. When it comes to flow cytometry, it should be based on antibody availability, fluorochrome brightness, excitation source, emission filters and so on. The flow cytometry data are usually presented in the form of single parameter histograms or as plots of correlated parameters, which are referred to as cytograms. Cytograms may display data in the form of a dot plot, a contour plot or a density plot. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.